Hey y'all, this is um, December 23rd, Saturday, and I am headed out to buy one more present, and it's 9.36 in the morning, and I'm hoping I beat the crowd. I'm not going to go to the mall or Walmart or anything like that. There's a store called um, Rugged Warehouse. And they carry um, some name brand things that haven't sold in the store, so they um, sell it in their store, and then they have just off-brand stuff. But it's a really neat store to go into and um, buy things. So I'm hopefully going to find what I need there. And I'm going to make some little... Uh, pies for Christmas, individual pies, and I can't decide if I want to make the pie crust myself or buy pie crust, crust already made, so I have the stuff at home to make the pie crust myself, and that's probably what I'll do, but I may have to stop and get that, and my son has requested individual pumpkin cheesecakes, so... I may have to stop and get a couple things to make that, but um, I'm going to take you in Rugged Warehouse and let you see uh, what that's like, and um, also, I kind of wanted to go to TJ Maxx because I get a lot of my handbags there. And my husband and son, they've already given it to me, but they got me this bracelet together. Well, if you can see, I really love it. And that was their gift together. And um, my son is going to be leaving right after Christmas, so uh, he wanted to see me enjoy it before Christmas is why um, it was given beforehand. And my husband said he wanted to get me something else, so I'm going to look at TJ Maxx if the crowds aren't too bad and see if I see a handbag because, like I said, I buy a lot of my handbags there and I'm crazy about handbags. And I can't remember if I said the weather is really dreary outside. It's mist and rain. And um, it's a little chilly. It says it's 55 degrees on my car thermostat thing. And I left the house without my jacket, but I'll be okay. I remember way back when I used to be in school, like in... Uh, third, fourth grade, um, you know, parents and raising kids and all that was a lot different back then, but it snowed a lot here, and sometimes I would go to school in the snow in flip-flops, and it did not bother me one bit, but, um, and I had a wonderful mother and father, so... It wasn't them being neglectful, it's just a different time in uh, life. And that's what I did, and, and I never got sick. And I don't know why I told you that, but it's, I guess, because it's an old dreary day and I forgot my jacket. But um, I'm ready for Christmas, um, other than getting this present today and looking for a purse and in my family at Thanksgiving I make a um, real large Thanksgiving meal and then at Christmas I don't want to have to be stuck in the kitchen cooking and cleaning and serving and all that kind of thing and putting away leftovers so I make turkey at Thanksgiving and ham at Christmas and this year uh, and, and at Christmas I uh, only make a small amount of 
or uh, not, I make a large amount of food, but a small uh, number of different things like this year it's going to be a ham and it's going to be a different ham than I've made before. It's called crock pot ham, but um, I'm making two hams and they're shank hams. It's um, the way I've seen it is using the spiral sliced ham, but as much ham as I need, it was really more economical for me to buy the um, shank ham. And so, when, and I can't cook it in the crock pot because my crock pot is not that big. So, I have like a, a Dutch oven type thing that I believe will be big enough for both of them. And I'm going to put those in the um, Dutch oven. And a Dutch oven is just like a big pan with a lid. And I'm going to score the top and uh, put the ham in and fix it. And uh, all you do is mix brown sugar and mustard and smear that down in the crevices of your ham and in where you score it and get that real good and um, smothered in that. And then you put Coke in the bottom of your pan, fill it up partially, stick it in the oven on 350 and just let it go till your ham's done and you may have to keep adding coke it just depends on um, how much it evaporates so that's the kind of ham I'm gonna have and I bought um, regular bread for sandwiches and I also bought um, the sweet bread the Hawaiian rolls if somebody wants to have um, more of a plate meal than a sandwich meal. I'm making sweet potato patties, uh, deviled eggs, and potato salad. And I think that's all I'm making. And uh, of course the two desserts I talked with you about a minute ago. And my windows are fogging up really bad. Let me see if I can get those to unfog and right back here it looks like I have a dead animal well I can't get my finger to point in the camera but let me turn this just a little bit you can see it better now anyway that is a horse I got my daughter a little um, kind of like a Barbie horse that the Barbie would ride and my daughter's played with it in the car and now it looks like that it died in the car and I really can't see for this fog but um, anyway I'm off to the store and when I get in there I'll show you around <laughs> 